so we have a lot of history here of people coming in with some form of mental health but also people having an institutionalisation process that they undergo here which means that they come in without mental health but this process creates mental health. So we have a lot of research around mental health uh, and obviously contemporary wise uh, it's a very big important theme linking that with poverty uh, and trying to uh, we try to choose themes that are going to be of interest to our visitors who are they going to connect to and what we find with this project is it connects at a different level so we try and create layers here of different ways that a visitor can connect and this project does that beautifully for us This project is about bringing back the stories of these people, the people that live there, and to give life to them, give, give a voice, because these were, these were people that didn't have any space in history books or maybe in the newspaper, in, in, the, in, the, in the news. So people that were, let's say, abandoned and, and kept segregated in, into this uh, completely different world. People in the audience will feel the a kind of truth coming out because it's not a fake, uh, can you say, it's not an, an actor acting um, as we commonly see in the theatre. This is truth that is delivered into a storytelling. Medicine. 
many working women do. Actually, I was very impressed by her because she was very, very keen and very, very enthusiastic. And that's the nice thing about working with the students, really. From the side of a designer, it's actually been interesting to see how things work and be there throughout the whole making process. So I know how everything's going to move and how it's going to feel right from the very start. Absolute pleasure to work with Chrissy. She was so enthusiastic. Uh, the ideas for costume came and then the ideas for the script came and, and we were working. She'd done the costume and asked me about the stories. I gave her the stories. And then we just chose the words that fitted best with what she'd been doing. Uh, Lena Martin. Chrissy Burton. Molly Williams. Katie Goodwin. Emily Arnold. So I felt it very freeing to just concentrate on making a more abstract version of something that really means and expresses the character. It's good to see the progression from, yeah. from that period to now, though, because um, I've worked in mental health. And I've seen some of the things that were the, are still the same as they were then, yeah. but all the must have the massive changes as well. So it's nice to have that kind of balance yeah. of yeah. history and modern treatment as well. It's something we don't get to do that often. Mm. We get given a theatre space that is made for theatre, but building and responding off a building, off a space with such story and history, it's just so exciting learning experience. Personal, powerful and amazing. Um, interesting, informative and insightful. Um, challenging, insightful and impactful. Um, powerful I guess, emotional and Over. <laughs> I ruined it. <laughs> Can we fix this? Yeah, this is what yes. editing is for. <laughs> we can fix it, right? Please tell me we can fix it. Do you know it. what the third word is? Powerful, and emotional, and... Okay, that's, okay, so then right, go. So powerful, emotional, and... Interesting. I thought she wasn't going to the third word. <laughs>